And we're now joined by the head coach, Shaka Smart. Coach, I know you've thought about this moment for a little while. It's win number one, but ultimately, what do you think it can mean for this program? Well, it's just a step. You know, what you want to do early in the year is take steps, and you got to really grow no matter what happens, win or lose. But, uh, you know, certainly coming off of our game in China, uh, we realized we had a long, long way to go, and we still do. But, uh, you know, it's nice to get a win tonight. We had some guys do some good things. A lot of things we got to keep getting better at. You mentioned the growth. What kind of growth did we see in this game compared to on the road in China? Well, I think uh, tonight we had more guys that were able to go out and play their game. Uh, we had very little of that in China. We still had some nervousness and guys making uncharacteristic plays uh, tonight. But, you know, that'll come. That'll get better. Uh, we got to obviously continue getting better with our rebounding, with uh, cleaning up plays, finishing plays off. But I thought our guys played with good effort. Now we got to put it together better. Coach, you play a style that pressures on both ends of the floor. And some of them say, well, how are you going to get these bigs involved? Well, Ridley had a big time game tonight. Are you looking to play inside out? Typically, you would think it's a perimeter type system. Tell us what, what your system is, especially with the night like Ridley had tonight. Well, no, we want to play fast, but, but we got bigs that can play that way. And offensively, our number one emphasis is to get the ball inside. You know, if we can get the ball in the paint, it puts pressure on the other team's defense. It allows us to get easy shots around the basket, but also get the ball out for open shooters. So I thought Cam was terrific uh, in the game tonight. We got to keep getting better and better at getting the ball into him and our other bigs. Okay, going forward, you got the A&M team, which may even be bigger on the perimeter than UW was. What do you have to do to compete and win a game like that going into the beach in the Bahamas? Well, you said it, compete. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is going down there with an understanding that on every single possession, we're going to have to compete at a high level. They've got a really good team, really talented team, well coached, and they're good on the perimeter and inside. So it's going to be a real challenge for us, but I'm excited to see, again, can we take another step as a team? Coach, thank you so much. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks.